Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Gold of War. Last time we finished up Brock and Sindri's favors and even got ourselves a nice shiny golden trophy for it. And uh, it appears that we now have another, because uh, I reloaded the game again, and we have another dialogue option. You better not be fighting with your brother again. Yeah, we, did. we heard that. We heard that the last time, and I don't think, yeah, there's nothing else dialogue wise. So, as promised, today we're heading towards Niflheim, or Niflheim, or whatever you want to call it. Um, because yeah, half of the realms I'm probably pronouncing wrong. But here we go, back to the Bifrost and, well, the, the Tree of Life, Yggdrasil. And just put in the Bifrost. I know the thing in my hand is called the Bifrost, so let's just put that in. And head towards Niflheim. A oh, loving gift from the giants. Since I used to do so much traveling between realms, they thought it would be more convenient for me than having a crystal I could lose. Did it hurt? No, because I wisely fortified myself with 16 cups of Billow Maiden's Ale. Got so inebriated, I tried convincing the giants to put him in my nipples instead. <laughs> <laughs> Almost talked them into it too. Can you imagine? Mimir of the Bifrost cheats. <laughs> Those were the days. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll stop now. Okay, that was amazing voice acting, by the way. And, uh... Yeah, Mimir of the Bifrost Teats. That's, uh, that's gonna be nice. I'm wondering, because I was hoping he was gonna give us a bit more explanation about Niflheim. But maybe that will happen now, because I have no idea what to expect. Is this similar to the trials in Muspelheim or not? Do the brothers have anything to say? No, they don't. So let's just head in and see what anybody else has to say about this. Or how this even looks, because I don't know if this is, uh... A happy place. Not sure why anyone would want to come here, but here we are. It smells bad. Um, looks deserty. Hmm. What is this? Stuff? Whoa! This mist is cursed. Cursed? Quite right. Safe to breathe for a time, but it'll kill if we linger. Just one more reason to love Niflheim. Okay. Fair enough. Seems like we have a few tablets here as well, which is great because I haven't Boy. read them all yet. Sir. Let's see. Mist Echoes. Okay, sounds fancy. Is that more of those Mist Echoes? Yeah, and a new lore marker. Turn back upon this place sits the curse of Ivaldi, whose talents threatened the gods of Asgard. The mists of Niflheim were, were made a weapon by my father's alchemy and turned upon their creator. His skill as an inventor and craftsman were unrivaled, but it was his talent and genius which drew the ire of the Aesir in the first place. Therefore I, Motsoknir, renounce this place. I renounce Dwarvenkind. I am off to seek refuge in self-imposed exile in Midgard. Those who do not flee this realm will join my father in the grave. Motsognir, son of Ivaldi. So Motsognir was the dwarven king we've heard a lot about. And we know that his father, Ivaldi, uh, has something to do with Niflheim. And it appears like he was an alchemist that uh, created this fog. Probably with those plants, because it looks like the fog is coming from those plants. Okay, it actually resets somehow. Wait, how does that work? Because I just got that reset a second ago. So, but moving on, and I do hear another blacksmith in the distance, so... I wonder why Sindri just moved himself. Ah! Fancy seeing you two here! Wait, he has a challenge for us. I'm surprised you're here, Sindri. This mist is pretty gross. You think I can't handle a little cursed mist? Well, you're right. I'm trying to build some armor that will lessen its effects. The materials I need are all right here in Ivaldi's workshop, but they're blanketed by this nauseating mist, of course. Wait for it. The last known location for such armor is in the workshop center chamber. The entrance is sealed, but I could craft you an entry stone with enough mist echoes. There it is. Okay, retrieve 500 mist echoes, and now we can enter the center chamber. I wouldn't recommend staying in the mist for too long. That stench will stick to your hair, your weapons, your armor. And I will not touch your gear until you burn all the tiny beasties off in the fires of Muspelheim. Also, it will kill you. Okay, let's talk. There's something written here. 
These cursed ruins hold rare mist echoes used for crafting magnificent armor. The enemy's traps and treasures will reset upon your return. Escape with what you can, lest the workshop claim you as another victim. This whole place shuffles around each time we leave? That's incredible! Atreus, focus. This is a dangerous place. That's dwarven creativity for you. Impressive and dangerous. Okay, so we're on a timer with the mist, so let's just head in and see what we can find. This does not reset apparently, so let's uh, hurry up a bit. Uh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. And rip apart, okay. So that's a third of our uh, bar. And there's a chest over here, but we lost pretty much all, half our health. Because of wolves, of course, it's always wolves. That is 241 mist echoes, fair enough. That must be the center chamber. Ah, okay, yeah, that's the center chamber indeed. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, see, oh, this is not going to be that easy, is it? See, but where are the others? <laughs> I think I see the others. <clears throat> oh, and they're all pretty high level. And crack the wolf. And then... Oh god! Oh shit, I'm, uh, I'm out of time by the way. Yeah, I'm just gonna die because of the... Oh no, the timer reset. A bit. That's a lot, that's a lot, that's a lot. Let's turn back, let's turn back, let's turn back. I'm not gonna make that, am I? This is gonna smash. Open up, 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 open up. Nope, I think I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. So now it's gonna eat all my health, I suppose? Yeah, my health is going down. Yeah, okay. Got out of there just in time. Holy shit. Okay, Retief 460 missed echoes. I think that's. Isn't that enough? Ooh, looks like you found enough echoes. And you're not dead. Very impressive. Sindri, how do you make anything out of mist? Odd as it sounds, the dwarves who lived here could craft marvels out of the mists of Niflheim. Keep an eye out for more mist echoes. I could put them to all sorts of use. Okay. So that just means we need to head in and back again. Wait, don't, don't you have... Sindri? You were gonna make me a stone. Ready and ready. Do I need to make that myself? Probably. Ooh. Level 7 armor. Yeah, this looks like... Yeah, this is going to be better than what I have. And it gives me... That's a very small amount of constant health regeneration on everything. Aha, there we go. The uh, Niflheim Entry Stone. Created. Come back anytime. So enter the center chamber. Might not uh, need to lose much time. So every time we enter, this place will look different. So all my knowledge from the previous time is useless. So fair enough. So let's just go in. Yeah, okay. Ah, 
One, two, three. Is everything dead? Yeah, okay. So I can just open up the chest and then we'll enter the center chamber, I suppose. There we go. A bit more echoes. Then just enter the stone in here. Dwarven favor complete. Evaldi's workshop. Search for armor materials. Wait, are you rising above the fog now? Doesn't nice look like it. Aha! Uh -huh. nice. Ooh, okay, yeah. Realm bears. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff in here. Don't mind if I do. Is that the armor? It looks kind of run down. Evaldi's rusted it? armor. No, it is too small and too old. We will bring it back to the dwarf. Ivaldi's armor was the peak of Niflheim craftsmanship, but this set is small and has grown decrepit. Sindri may be able to make use of it. Okay. I, I mean, this room is filled with chests. Give me a second. So if some of these are locked off with a number of mist echoes, so I need a thousand to open this chest, which I'm just going to do. And there we go. More loot for me. And that gives us a perfect artifact of the Blight and Niflheim Alloy. I think I can use that to upgrade my Muspelheim gear. Niflheim Alloy. So this one is closed, this one is closed. Okay, then open this up. Okay, so that perfect artifact of the Blight gives me a high perk activation chance to restore some protection against the Cursed Mist of Niflheim on any successful parry. So I might be able to use that later on to get some more loot out of the rest of the maze. So fair enough. So knowing how this works, I think if I die now to one of those realm tears, I'm going to lose everything I've gathered so far. So I think I'm just going to head out and go back in again. Oh, wow. Okay, it reset like that as well. Okay, never mind. It's just going to go back in again. Yeah, okay. So I hear it closing off. So that must mean that I can try this without losing all the loot I've gathered here. Ooh. This one's also closed. Oh. I need Mist Echoes and Anchor of Fog. Yeah, okay, so I need materials to even gather that. And then there's this, which is more Mist Echoes and Haxel. Okay, let's go check around in the rest of the, uh, the maze then, I guess. And one, two, three. And then just... Ram it in there. Oh, that was bullshit. So yeah, they level eight. Okay, yeah, so confirmed I restart at the center of the chamber. But I have a feeling I'm still not doing enough damage for all of this. And smack. Okay, so that gives us a few more chests. And the chests actually, so that's interesting. So every chest you open actually restores a bit of uh, defense as well. And there we go. But if I want to do this properly, I'm going to have to do something about the mists with the, the enchantments we have. Oh god. I'm just gonna head back, I think. Is it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Get up, brother. So this is like an infinite dungeon kind of thing. So every time I die, everything resets, and I get new enemies. Oh, what the hell? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Reset. 
Harrying broke, apparently. So, just cleared the first room again. I think I'm just gonna take this opportunity to go back to um, Sintry. Because if I can make the body armor and just upgrade my Muspelheim armor, then maybe, because that gave me a bit of health regeneration. I'm wondering if it actually does override is the, uh, the stuff is? from uh, the, the fall. Useless. Oh, ye of little faith, this armor was worn by Ivaldi himself. Sure, it's seen better days, but I can restore it with more mist echoes. And it'll help with the effects of Ivaldi's curse. Unless there is something of value in this workshop, there is little point in staying here. You saw all the chests in the center chamber, yes? Plus all the goodies tucked away towards the back of the workshop. And the three round tears, of course. But might want to be careful with those. Why's that? It's a literal tear in the fabric of reality itself. You want to reach your hand through there? Be my guest. So yeah, I think we uh, we got um, that those are the last three realm tears we need to do. Or maybe there's one more. Let's that explains where the uh, realm tears are coming from. Um, chest armor. So I need yeah the rusted armor. I got nine of those for some reason. So I can make pretty much everything. The only thing I need for a body armor is 140 more mist echoes, which is fine by me. Uh, but first, let's upgrade. Wait, do I need for the chest armor? Do I need? I need five Niflheim alloys. So I need to be careful that uh, if I upgrade one of my Muspelheim things. Yeah, so haze weave. I can't do anything with that, and that name means. Ah, Crest of Surter and Smoldering Embers a bit more as well. Okay, fair enough. So that means I can't upgrade my armor anyway. Even if I would get the fancy stuff. Um, no. So let's just get a bit more Mist Echoes and get that body armor set. Oh god, that's gonna close. Let's just leave him there. Yeah, goodbye. Okay, that just gives us a bit more... Mist Echoes, which is fine. And that hopefully gets us a bit more time, because right now I barely have time to do the first entry room. Of course, I do get a bit back, but we really need to hurry up. But that gives us enough Mist Echoes to get the Evaldi armor. I think that's a keeper. And there we go, the Evaldi Squirrus of Endless Mists. Equip that. Uh, so that's looking rather fancy. It does put us back down to level 6. But I think if I put the enchantments back on, I might actually uh, override that. Upgrading the chest armor, we need more mist echoes. Haze weave and smoldering embers from Muspelheim. So yeah, I'm kind of regretting I used that many of them before. But uh, yeah, let's see. What is this place? You are standing at the entrance to Ivaldi's workshop. A testament to the ingenuity of dwarven engineering. Why does it smell so bad? It's quite foul, isn't it? Well, that's a long story, but uh, quite simply, Ivaldi messed with forces he shouldn't have, and you're breathing the consequences. Okay. So, Ivaldi created this mist? No, no, Niflheim has always been a land of mist. And snow, endless snow, and, and wind, and, and ice. Really, it's never been a pleasant location, but... Ivaldi found a way to harness all that frosty power and built marvels that shocked the realms of both man and god. Wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. So then what but happened? yeah, what happened hmm? after that? After Ivaldi built all the marvels. Ah, yes. Well, Odin wasn't keen on the idea of dwarves building contraptions that challenge his power, so he intervened. Ivaldi was furious and retaliated. From there, things escalated and well here we are cursed mist and this is why gods are best avoided okay but that doesn't really explain anything so odin did this then um just one more adjustment so it just added the uh, perfect blight defense enchantment as well so that should give us a bit more protection as well so it's still going down but indeed a lot slower than before and if I parry, I get more defense, so important to parry. Okay, so sometimes these waves are a bit harder than other times. 
and it feels a bit uh, like I don't really get the berry bonus there, but it might be because it's only happening once every while and I, I'm expecting it to happen on every berry. Oh gold. Ugh. Okay, that didn't really do anything. Can I climb over these? Yeah, okay, I can. So that's kind of close. And then over here. Jump up and then off. And now we pretty much have just enough time to... Uh... Oh, yeah, I wanted to activate. That was bullshit. I wanted to activate Rage of the... Yeah, Spartan Rage, but it didn't happen. Never mind, restart. So I need to get used to start using the Blades of Chaos against Wolves, because I have a feeling that's going to be a bit more effective than what I'm using now. It seems to be Vikings, yeah. Oh, I blocked that, but yeah. There they go. Okay, that was pretty quick. Just gonna gather a few things. Perfect artifact of the blight. So I get, I get multiples of those. Just gonna gather up the chest. This gets, gives me a bit more time. There we go. Probably just to offset the animation, probably because this is taking a long time anyway. Come on, close. That means we need the uh, no. Okay, fine. So this, I have the N up there and the R up there. So I'm guessing I need to try the R first. There we go. Open that up. And that gives us a bit more mist echoes. This is also a chest. We got another perfect artifact of the blight. So I'm going to have to check which one is the best. This is going to hurt. Ooh. So as I said, oh wow. Where's the Treyas? No, I'm not okay. Definitely not okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Okay, that was close because of the two level 8 wolvers. But that opens that up. And I feel like I should be returning. Because I, I don't. I'm not going to survive another room. Yeah, there's uh, another chest here. Gives us a bit of defense, but... And then this one adds up to... 800? Almost 900. Just gonna go through here. Ah, there's a little chest I missed. Open that up and then I get another thousand missed echoes. So this is like a flipping roulette wheel. It's trying not to get killed every time we go through it. But a, a thousand, I feel like a thousand is enough. And next time we'll head to the left side again. So, I uh, made the gauntlets as well, so now we're going through this with two pieces of Niflheim gear. And if I get a few more uh, items, I might be able to upgrade even the gauntlets already, so that would be nice. Okay. Okay, I'm losing way too much health on these guys. Because every time I go through wolves, I lose half my health bar. 
Gonna have to try to counter that a bit. I'm guessing we're gonna get a bit better while I'm doing this. So let's go left this time. Not that it matters, because it's probably completely randomly generated. Aha, there's a chest over there. Probably worth getting just for the cooldown reduction. Might just want to wait that out. Oh, fuck off. Come on, Atreus. This might have been a mistake, yeah. Yeah, fuck. There we go. That's our second arena done. That gives us Mist Echoes and Hack Silver. And there's another chest over here. And I'm gonna risk it for the first time to get into a third area. I'm gonna probably lose my shit, but uh, bum, bum, that's the way to go. Aha! It's just a puzzle room. Um, N, N, C, 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 and R, okay? There we go. And then I'm just gonna head back because I don't want to lose all this. And that gets us uh, Mist Echoes, Hack Silver. Aha! Wait, there's another chest here. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. So, 2250 missed echoes this time. We're slowly, slowly moving up. upgrade before tackling the realm tears? Not that I condone such an action, mind you. <laughs> Uh, rub them in half. There we go. Chest, 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 chest to over here. There we go. Let's go right again. Come on, bulls. There we go. Opening up the next chest. Ooh, we had a lot of mist echoes already. Where the hell did that come from? Um, half health and about two thirds probably when opening the chest. Yeah. Let's try another one. Let's try another one. So we came from that one, I think? No. We definitely came from the other one on the left. These middle rooms don't usually have combat encounters. So I'm wondering what they do have. Oh no! Oh god, that was just in time. Boom! Boom! So I really need to open up a chest now. Yeah, okay. She wasn't dead. Crap, I'm gonna die. Oh, I need to head back. Wait, so if I... Yeah, if I go here, there's another chest over here. And that gets us a bit of extra defense. That should get us out of here pretty much immediately. 2700. The spinning blades were of Aldi's favorite. I always thought them a bit garish. So slowly moving our way up, I'm just gonna clear this room. Boom. And there we go. Wow, I did lose a lot of health. But I'm just gonna go to the center room right now. And see if we can't open anything up. There we go. Bit of mist echoes and Niflheim alloy. 
Oh, you do get that from smaller chests. Interesting. So I might eventually be able to make the belt as well. Fair enough. So the chests are ramping up. So from 1,000 to 2,500 to 5,000, that must be 10,000, 10, or 7,500. And then this one is probably 10,000. No, also 7,500. Okay, I have 5,000 of them right now. So I might just want to skip one chest and open up the big one. There we go. And that gives us... Ooh. Chilling mists of Nilf Niflheim. Bleak mist found in the depths of Niflheim used to unlock an upgrade to a powerful item. Fair enough. And one Niflheim alloy. Aesir Bane and Haze Weave. I need Haze Weave. I need two more Haze Weave. Okay, let's dive back in then. Just take out one. Yeah, that's one. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, Flamo. Ooh, and she got squashed as well. So that seems like I'm not gonna survive another round, so... Let's just, just to be safe, head back with what we have. Might not be an immense amount of mist echoes, but at least it's something. Although there is this middle room, right? I have enough mist defense to check the middle room. For stuff, okay, this seems longer than anticipated. Okay, CRN. So that opens that up. And now we have enough time to get back. Unless I wanna, no, no, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, oh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna open up this. I did get something else there, I think I just saw another blighted artifact. Which I'm definitely gonna have to check out eventually to see how much I can uh, stack those. Oh, the Revenant got itself smashed. There we go. Oh, I do love when the, the Revenants get smashed in between the, the traps. I think I barely lost any health this time on the second room, which is good. Pretty good on time as well, so I might as well do our third room now. Just keep opening chests while I'm going along. Ah, oh, didn't didn't want to leave that health stone over there. Oh, there's there's something in the middle. That's one tassel worm less. He's going into the trap, and he's getting a projectile in the face. There we go. That was our first traveler in Niflheim. Uh, chest, 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 chest. And then we're gonna turn back. And I think with that amount of uh, missed echoes, we can open up the next chest. And there we go, our 2500 chest. That must not contain all that much, but although. Never mind, Eye of Niflheim greatly increases resistance to the Cursed Mist of Niflheim. Stacks with any other resistances to the Cursed Mist. And it's an epic enchantment. Great, and I got three Haze Weaves, which means I can upgrade that as well. I can upgrade the Gauntlet, so let's head back. And uh, we'll do just that. Of course, not before we smack the... Ooh. Uh, that's a first. I got the... I got multiple chests now. Does it increase the amount of loot you get every time you open up a chest? Would be nice, but I don't see how we could... Huh. I don't see any way of getting those symbols active. Unless they're in the adjacent rooms. Which I'm not gonna try today, because I feel like, yeah... No, no, I'm just gonna leave that chest there for now. So let's head to Sindri. So, if all these gauntlets of deadly mist, let's upgrade that to... Yeah, that's two points on every stat that gets upgraded. There we go. 
And I don't think we can upgrade the chest armor without Muspelheim stuff and more of those haze weaves as well. So yeah, the solutions for those a chest at the beginning are strewn around the rest of the areas. Which must hold a lot of loot, I suppose then. Yeah, I think it's a bit too much for me right now. So there is a talisman specifically for Niffle though. So I might want to take that and equip it for now. And I can upgrade it with Haze Weave and Alloys. Might as well. So I lose power if I do that, but it should allow me to stay in here a bit longer now that I can actually use that as an ability. We'll see how that works in this run. Okay, that was the first one. Now if I activate that, it's a little bit. Get a bit of health out of that as well. Might actually be handiest if I can do that every few minutes. Oh, snap. There we go. She's squashed beneath the, uh, the trap there. Okay. So I think it was reversed B, upside down F, and downwards E. And I think I have the first one yeah, over there. So that's definitely not it. That's a reverse B, so I think that's correct. And another chest. So I can definitely stay here a bit longer now. Another oh. Here of all the places. That's not good. She looks blue. Yeah, wow, okay. Oh, how can I drop that? That is so okay. Never mind. Yep, there's a Valkyrie in Niflheim. Great, great. Then I think there's something wrong with my moth. Because I think there were seven hidden chambers and we. this is our second Valkyrie outside of those chambers. And that's the Valkyrie Queen is somehow linked to one as well. A hidden chamber. That one hurt. So, Valkyrie inside this place as well. And I'll go in this one first. Oh, that was bullshit. Another Valkyrie. Ah, oh, crap. Of all the places. Ah, okay. Okay, what the hell's going on? Oh shit! Shit! Yeah, couldn't get out of the combo. Damn it! Oh, the Valkyrie is over there. I have full health. 
Might want to try this. 2600. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'm an idiot. Um. And then the last one is Dodge. Oh, yeah, I can't really do anything against that. Maybe dodge sideways? And then dodge that last one. to the combo Do I have it? Do I have it? Yeah, I got it. Oh my god, I got the Valkyrie. In the face, Biatch. Two wings! And down! Um, I think I am dying though. <laughs> okay, one third of the mists left, Freedom. so I think I'll be fine. Yes. I think. You are free now. Whew. My sisters, have they suffered the same fate? Yes. Kind of. But we'll save them. You are both very brave. I wish you luck. Valhalla awaits. Oh yes, this oh, is nice. You didn't even notice me. Oh, sorry, Mimir. So yeah, I didn't even catch her name there. The the name of the Valkyrie. I have no idea what her name was. Um, but yeah, that was an, an quick but awesome fight. So just keep using the Blades of Chaos. Oh, and we get a refill. How do they put up such a fight? They are the fierce opponents. Hildur. There it's she good is. For you. You know, most parents just want their children to get a full night's sleep. Okay. Um, lots of health stones for some reason. Probably they want to refill me for everything. And then we get the Wing of the Fallen. Epic Axe Pommel. Moderate perk activation chance on any successful kill to grant power of the Valkyrie. Increasing runic and strength on any successful kill. That sounds amazing. And that might actually replace my my Surtig Pommel then. Um, Quirrus of the Valkyries, so the chest armor for the Valkyries. So we got two pieces then. Awesome. Then we got Asgardian Steel probably. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And more Asgardian Steel. Fair enough. And then one more yellow thing. What's this? Heart of the Valkyrie, an epic enchantment, very low perk activation chance on any successful weapon hit to grant protection of the Valkyrie, granting 50% resistance to all status effects and possibility of being staggered by enemy attacks. Sounds amazing, uh, but by reading all that I lost again about a quarter of my mist defense. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just gonna return because I don't wanna... I don't wanna waste this uh, lovely playthrough now. So. Yeah, this run was really, really great, and I love the fact that we managed to kill the Valkyrie, because I was afraid I was going to get uh, face raped at the end there, but we managed to 
get her down by pretty much almost never getting hit, which is good, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna just head back to Sindri. I think this has been a long enough episode uh, for Niflheim, at least the first attempt, because yeah, we need to gather a lot more materials if we wanna get into one of the, the rest of the chests. And I know I still, yeah, I know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna head to Sindri. Uh, you know what? I think actually before we do that, I can open up the 7,500 chest now. So let's do that. So 7,500, opening up. Giving us a lot uh, more materials, I suppose. Ooh. Blightbringer, epic axe pommel, of course. Low perk activation chance to strike with an explosive curse that inflicts weakness to enemies on any successful hit. Doesn't sound as awesome as what we got from the Valkyrie just yet. And it's all there is to it. Apparently no, no materials aside from that. Okay, heading back to Sindri. So yeah, the wing of the fallen, the uh, Valkyrie pommel is pretty much... Awesome. So I'm just gonna upgrade that so it's even more awesome and then I'm gonna equip it because I just needed this guardian steel and then we need perfect this guardian steel so it's fine. Oh and because we killed the Valkyrie we got the chilling mists of Niflheim which means I can buy my last frozen flame which means we can upgrade the Leviathan axe to its maximum level. There we go. Awesome and there we go worthy completed the, all the upgrades for the Leviathan axe. Great great great. Okay, if I think that's a, hurry. a very nice point to end it. I crafted the waste armor of Ivaldi as well, but I think it's a bit worse than what we have with the... Although, I might want to check that out. Okay, I definitely take that back. If I equip everything as it was before, I actually reach level 8, which means I'm a lot more powerful now. Which means that next time, I think it's high time we go back to Muspelheim, and uh, try our hands at the uh, impossible challenges over there. Because now I don't have any excuses. I don't know if there's another level beyond 8. But 8 has been the maximum I've seen enemies be for now. Uh, which I think means that that will probably be it. Uh, I'm guessing the Valkyrie armor will probably be the best in the game. Because even though I like Evaldi's armor, I think the perks that we get from, uh, from the, the Valkyrie armor might be just a little bit better but we'll see about that in the next episode for now i'd like to thank you all enormously for watching and when we get back we'll go back to muspelheim for one final time so thank you guys again enormously for watching and see you guys in the next episode goodbye <laughs>